up, everyone? This is Elijah with Financial Anatomy, and this is the place where you learn how to take control of your financial destiny. On this channel, we talk about apps involving money and real estate, and we're going to be covering a new app that we haven't covered before. Today, we'll be covering the Venmo app and how you can sign up for it. In order to begin the sign-up process, all you need to do is click on the link in the description or in the pinned comment of this video, and it'll take you to the place to where you can sign up. Full disclosure, that is an affiliate link, so if you do have a family or friends link that you would rather use instead, feel free, but clicking on the link will take you to where you need to go. Alternatively, you can go inside the app store and just type in the word Venmo and the app will pop up. Once the Venmo app is downloaded, you wanna open the app up and then you wanna click on create account. Venmo will then ask you what type of account is it? Is it personal, teen, or business? We'll be doing the sign up for a personal account since that's what most people want. So we're gonna get started. Next, you'll need to enter your phone number and click on send code. This is basically Venmo's verification process. You will then get a text message with a code that you'll need to enter inside of the box. Sometimes it will automatically fill in for you depending on your phone settings though, which is pretty nice. Confirm it. You'll then need to set up your account. You can add a photo if you want, but this can be done later should you desire. We're gonna skip that process for time's sake. You want to enter your name, create a username, pick an email, and password. You'll also need to check the box that you are at least 18 years old and agree to the terms that are listed below. You can click on that and read that on your own time. I've already done that, so we're going to go ahead and click on next. Next we have, as Venmo puts it, the legal stuff you've been waiting for. This is basically their terms and agreement. Same thing applies as the consent agreement that I just mentioned before. You can read through this on your own time. This has already been done, so um, for me anyway, so you wanna scroll down. And as you scroll down, Venmo will actually go over their fees that are associated with their um, credit card. So that's actually good to know. Once you've gone through all that, you wanna click on agree. You'll then be asked to add a debit card as this will be needed to transfer any money to and from your account, as well as send other people money should you desire. Once you've entered a debit card, just click on add. You will then be asked if you wanna sign up for the Venmo debit card. If you want to, you can click on apply now. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this for now, but if you have an interest in learning the process on how to apply, you can check this video out. We're gonna go ahead and skip this during the sign up process though. Next, Venmo will explain their payment settings. To simplify this, they have three settings. They have the public setting, which is what's gonna be your default, where everyone can see on the internet what kind of payments you make. You have friends only, where the only people that will be able to see this information are other friends on Venmo. And then you have the private one, where uh, any payment you make can only be seen between you and the person that you're paying. I prefer private, because I don't think it's anyone's business what I'm doing. So um, I will show you how to change these settings once we finish, but uh, you just wanna click on done for now. And we've hit the sweet spot of completing the sign up process on Venmo. So there's one more piece of housekeeping you wanna do when you sign up for Venmo so you have access to all the features. When you're on the homepage, if you scroll to the right, there'll be a window or some on the screen that asks unlock your um, balance. It says, tell us more to verify your account because you won't actually have access to any money that's in your Venmo account unless you do this. So it's best just to go ahead and get this out of the way. So click on get verified. And this is a place where you would enter your date of birth, last four digits of your social security number, and your street address. And if you have an ITIN number, you could use that instead. When you've done that, scroll to the bottom and click on get verified. And boom, it says your identity has been verified. Now I did say that I was gonna show you how to change your settings, so let's go ahead and do that. You wanna click on the me icon in the bottom right hand corner. Click on the little wrench icon at the top of the screen. Then click on privacy and click on private. It'll just ask if you wanna confirm this, which I do, so I'm gonna click on change anyway. And it's been changed to private. Now that does it for the sign up process of Venmo. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and give this video a thumbs up if you found value in the video. And if you're looking to sign up for Venmo, you can do so using the link in the description and the pinned comment. This has been Elijah with Financial Anatomy. I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to get out there and take control of your financial destiny.